when you don't know what's filming. <laughs> Hey everyone! I'm back with another video. Um, I don't feel like talking about books today, so I'm doing another tag, which is funny because my entire channel's books, but whatever. Um, so today I'm doing the Harry Potter tag, which I'm super pumped about because I'm currently rereading Harry Potter, and I'm actually going to Universal in February, which I'm super pumped. So here we go, kids. Um, the first question is, what's your favorite book? My favorite book is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, which I'm currently reading right now. I'm a good way through it. Um, least favorite book, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I don't know why, I don't like that, I don't know if I read it too quickly, or if I just, I, I just thought it was boring and I don't remember anything significant about it, but... I don't know, I just don't like that one. Favorite movie, hands down, Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows Part 2. It's the most recent one, has the coolest effects. I just think that's the best uh, movie overall. Least favorite movie, I don't have like one in particular, but probably like the earlier ones. Because I just don't think those are as, like I like the ones that are recent because they have like cooler effects. It's like more of an experience when you watch the newer ones because you can see like Ooh, it like makes it more real, I don't know. Um, so my favorite Weasley is probably Fred or George just because like they on point. So funny, I don't even know, like I, I love them, so except Fred, but like whatever. Um, favorite female character. I'm gonna say Luna. I think. I don't really like any of the female characters. I think I'm gonna say Luna because she's like, who Who even is Luna? Like, she's so weird and quirky and just like, oh, she's so funny. Favorite villain is definitely Lucius Malfoy because <laughs> he's so cool. I love him and his long flowing blonde hair and I just love the Malfoy family to be honest. Um, fun fact about me, Malfoy family is basically where I belong. Favorite male character, Sirius Black, is my favorite character of all time. Freaking love him. He is so great. Everything I want to be in life is Sirius Black. So, Favorite professor, Lupin. That's not even a question. Like, who doesn't love Lupin? Um, ooh, would you rather wash Snape's hair or spend a day listening to Lockhart rant about himself? Definitely wash Snape's hair because I just think that'd be great bonding time for you and Snape and it would not be as painful as listening to Lockhart talk about himself for the entire day. Plus, if it's... oh, well, I mean, if he was ranting about himself, it would last the entire day versus, like, Snape's hair would only take, like, ten minutes or something. What's on my face? Okay, I don't know what's on my face. Sorry. Um... Would you rather duel an elated Bellatrix or an angry Molly? Definitely Bellatrix because why would you want to like fight with Molly? We would not want to, I would not want to deal with that. That would be so bad. Yeah, definitely Bellatrix. Would you rather travel to Hogwarts via Hogwarts Express or flying car? Hogwarts Express. There is literally no other option against that. Like, I, you could like have the little like witch with her trolley and she would like bring you treats and you would just be there like on the train. You could like change into your robes like on the way to school. Oh my gosh, guys, I wanna do that so bad. Would you rather kiss Voldemort or give Umbridge a bubble bath? Kiss Voldemort, I do not wanna see any of that. Um, would you rather write a hippogriff or write a firebolt? A hippogriff. Are you kidding me? I would love to ride Buckbeak. Goals. Is there a character you felt differently about in the movies? Okay, so I'm copying this person's answer, whoever this is, but this is so true. Their answer is yes, Ginny. In the books, she was a really, she was really awesome and fierce but in the film she felt very two-dimensional and fake, which I completely agree with. Ginny in the books is like a bomb-ass character, and then in the movies, I don't even, like, they just did not, um, 
they didn't portray her like as well as, as they did and as JK Rowling did in the books. Is there a movie you prefer to the book? Um No, because if the book is definitely because you can't like fit everything in a book into a movie. Like books are just overall have so much more detail and depth and everything to them. Like the books oh, with everything, like books are always better than the movie. Richard Harris or Michael Gambon as Dumbledore. I don't know. I really, I don't, I'm not very like big on the movies to be completely honest. Like the books are just honestly where it's at. Your top thing, person or event that wasn't in the movie that you wanted, that you wanted there the most. Okay. Peeves. Why do they not put Peeves in the movies? Why? I wanted to see that. He's so cool. I freaking love Peeves. Like why not? If you could remake any of the Harry Potter movies, which would it be? Um, probably the Earl. I wish they would like, I, I don't, but I do wish they would redo the earlier ones. Just because like now with all this stuff, but like I don't, but I do. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know. Whatever. Um, which house was your first gut feeling you'd be a part of? Gryffindor for everybody. Like, why would you have any other feeling besides that? Like, my first gut feeling was obviously Gryffindor because why would you not want to be in the same house as Harry Potter and Hermione and Ron? But that's changed now. Which house were you actually sorted into on Pottermore? Slytherin. This is where I belong. I want to be in Slytherin so bad. Um, which class would be your favorite? Probably Defense Against the Dark Arts. But like also not, I also feel like herbology or like um, Hagrid's class, like Care of the Magical Creatures. I don't know. I want all of them. Like that would be so cool. Um, which spell do you think would be most useful to learn? Um, oh shoot, I forgot what it's called. The one where you just like it comes to you because then you don't need to move. What is that spell called? I forget. Somebody tell me, I forget. Which character do you think you'd instantly become friends with? Probably Neville because we'd probably both be in the same boat. I'm um, just saying because I don't think I'd be very good at anything like Neville and then therefore we'd have like a common bond between us and we'd just be friends. If you could own one of the three hollows, which would it be? The invisibility cloak. That would be fun as frick. Um, is there any aspect of the books you'd want to change? Um, no. I would not want to change anything because J.K. Rowling is a J.K. Rowling is a queen, and you shouldn't just you just shouldn't interfere with that. Favorite martyr. Actually, Mooney, Padfoot, and Prongs. I like all of them. I can't choose. They're all like so unique and like just them together as a whole is like so fun and I wish I was a part of that. If you could bring one character back to life, which would it be? Fred. Why would you not want to bring Fred back to life? Fred and George is the ultimate duo and the fact that I, I'm still mad at her for killing off Fred because uh, I'm, that's literally the most saddest thing ever. I just, oh. Um, Hallows or Horcruxes? Hallows. That's all I have to say, just Hallows. So guys, that's it for my Harry Potter tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this more than my Twilight tag, because I feel like that was kind of a bust, just because, like, I don't even like Twilight, but whatever. I'm obsessed with Harry Potter. If you guys want me to do more tag videos, definitely let me know. Um, make sure you guys comment, subscribe, and like, and do all that. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye!